today we are doing our first YouTube video upload. Uh, me and little Tyson are gonna go and rock the show at the unit today. We are, uh, we're gonna do my little blindfolded machine polishing challenge on my bonnet actually, believe it or not. Um, basically, I had a reel up on Instagram, a video of me doing the full, full beans on a mat, full detail. Hoover, wet vac extraction, steam, all this and that, the carpet lines, the stripes, people really like that sort of thing. And yeah, I'm going to do the consequential video upload of me attempting to machine polish slash correct my bonnet, blindfolded. Should be interesting. Get the chemical decon done, then we'll get her into the unit and we'll start filming for the bonnet paint correction. I'm going to do 50 50 of it, like normal as it was with my eyes open I'm going to get the bonnet sort of as good as as good as I reasonably can and then we'll do the other side blindfolded and we will compare the two of them and see how they go I'm intrigued to see actually because I've been I've been discussing this with a, with a few people over the last couple of weeks and some people are saying that they think I could pull it off some people are like yeah no chance uh, it's 50 50 like it could either go reasonably well I think or on the other side it's going to go very wrong as you can see we've just got to the unit got the van just over that shoulder some bits and bobs over there but we will be getting safe wash decontamination and then we'll get the van into the unit ready for that blindfolded machine polishing let's do it okay so as you can see finished the safe wash and decon on the van Pulled her into the unit. I've done a little bit of dressing on some of the plastics here and everywhere. Sort of tidied her a little up a little bit, you know, little things that needed to be done sort of over the last sort of six months. I've got dressing and all of these bits and bobs along here. Sort of the alloys out a little bit. She's just generally looking a little bit tidier, you know. Um, I'm gonna get cracking with the machine work now. So I'm gonna do a test patch on the bonnet. This is what it looks like currently, as you can see. It's extremely faded, very, very, very faded. That's what it looks like under spotlight. You actually cannot even see swirling or anything like that because it is so dull. So we're gonna do half of that now. See what I can do with, with my eyes. I'm um, actually being able to see it. Do 50% with our eyes and then the other 50% blindfolded. Let's crack on. What a difference I've managed to get with this, really. This is the faded side, look, hang on. Compared to that, woohoo! Look at that, night and day. It's actually not half bad. my efforts without the blindfold and here is the efforts with it as you can see I haven't cleared up as much of the overspray as this side um, that's probably because I didn't cut it cut it heavy enough obviously the wall pad would have been good as well would have done a little bit more damage but I obviously think obviously not being able to see what I was doing obviously has made an impact uh, it's much better over this side as you can see still not too bad considering I couldn't see nothing though mm. Have a look at that bonnet in comparison to the wing, which is flat as a which is tip. Look at that bonnet. Ooh, ooh. Look, banging. It's miles better. It's actually nice and shiny again, nice and smooth. Good result. So I'm going to end the video there, guys. Obviously, that was the first video I've actually done for YouTube for day one detailing. Would appreciate your constructive comments in the comment section below obviously it's the first one it's not going to be perfect i'm recording off of my iphone i don't have any other equipment obviously some of these full-time youtubers have got xyz and obviously over time i will learn to do this and that and things will improve but obviously let me know what you thought hopefully you enjoyed it hello mia let me know what you uh what you thought of the blindfolded paint correction and if you've got any suggestions for anything in the future that you'd like to see on the channel, be it how-tos, demonstrations, my ways of doing things, anything like that, give me a shout. 
would be obviously nice to know and have some sort of direction. But yeah, look forward to the second video from myself. I'm not quite sure what it's going to be yet. It will more than likely be a how-to on full paint correction. So stay tuned for that. And obviously, if you can subscribe to us, that would be fantastic. Let's pump the numbers up. Let's get hit the ground running. And uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Ciao.